Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha spoke to experts about the next step in this four month long investigation. That gun violence restraining order is a temporary one. A longtime detective also wants to remind the community it's a civil order, not a criminal one. And while we are all desperate for answers, he said the process in a case like this takes time. We broke the news over the weekend, a temporary gun violence restraining order, which reveals the numerous weapons police say Larry Miliate owned. The order prevents him from owning or buying any more guns. San Diego PD filed the paperwork on May 5th. The written declaration showed a number of guns missing. Only two of the total 20 firearms have been accounted for by law enforcement. Of the guns police do have, forensic criminologist and retired detective Dr. Ron Martinelli said there isn't much they can do with them at this point. With the gun violence restraining order, they can take the weapons. They just can't test the weapons. In order to test the weapons, again, they have to have a nexus. They have to have some sort of connection between a weapon or weapons and a murder which they haven't been able to establish yet. Search warrants have been issued for the Miliete home. It's unclear what was taken from the house. Larry Miliete told officers he knew they were coming for his firearms and he gave multiple firearms to his friends. He won't say who or where they are, leaving more questions in an emotional and difficult time for Maya's loved ones. Everybody wants closure and they want justice, but these things do take time. The documents also said Larry had illegal assault weapons and unregistered firearms. That could get him in more trouble. He could be charged as a felony. In and of itself, the possession of the firearms unregistered to him, you know, probably unless it's alleged they're accused or used in the commission of an offense, probably looking at more of a misdemeanor charge. Attorney David Shapiro, not involved in the case, said police can't force him to share where the weapons are, but could get a search warrant for his communications. The court could compel him to show they were surrendered, destroyed, or legally transferred. The bigger focus, he said, is unraveling the four-month mystery of what happened to Maya Miliete. I'm Melissa Masiha, Team 10. A hearing is scheduled for June 22nd. On that date, the gun violence restraining order will either be expired or extended.